I'm gonna do a 2021 year in review. And I know what some of you guys are saying, but Mike, didn't, didn't you go live for that one? Didn't you discuss that? Technically I did, but I didn't because that actually felt more like a hangout. So I'm gonna go more into detail, more into that, what, um, what I picked up, what my goals are for 2022. So let's have some fun, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> let's take a look. All right, guys, so where do I start? <laughs> I have an idea. We'll start off with this bad boy. And uh, I want to thank each and every one of you guys who voted me in on the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame and each and every one of you guys who takes the time out of your day to watch my videos. And um, this one has been made possible for that. Okay, so Moni Long, where do, we, where do we start? Where do we start? I got this. And I got this right here. 2021, the year of buying stars and Hall of Famers only. Okay, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know that I'm a set builder, and I kind of just put that to the side this year for 2021. I had to accommodate my girlfriend moving in with me while we're looking for property, and yeah, that's still a heartbreak because I'm still here. <laughs> so I had to put all my baseball cards away. But all these cards are here, I won them auction style. And that's one thing I always preach in my show, or at least on my channel, my channel show, if that makes any sense, is auction style. Be patient. You can find some pretty good deals because check this out. You guys remember this card? Yeah, they're called Sunny Linux for a four. Yeah, I paid $4 for it. 2021. You can still find some deals out there, dude. You can definitely find some deals out there. You just got to be patient. Okay, I know the card boom right now is, you know, pretty crazy, but I'm showing you these. I bought these in 2021. I focused on star players and Hall of Famers only. I feel like I didn't pick up that many cards, to be honest. Now, the Fox 55, one of my favorite Johnny Padres baseball card. A Hoyt Wilhelm, and this one was crazy. I paid 10 bucks for this one, dude. Look how stunning this looks. Razor sharp. You can shave with it. $10. Can you guys see that? $10? Wow, well, it says $10 on there. It's not zooming. Oh, there it is. It's not zooming in for you very well. This guy had this card and another card, like in a PSA, or actually it was SGC, like nine. It was almost mint, dude. And everybody was chasing after the other card and kind of overlooked this card. So I just threw a, I actually threw a $20 bid on this and uh, won it for 10 bucks. Plenty of deals out there on eBay. Plenty of deals. Got this Mickey Cochran, Tony Missouri, Johnny Mize. Not too shabby, not too shabby. You got Johnny Vandermeer, if you guys can remember. Back to back, no hitters. This one was a pretty crazy one, too, because I was looking for this card. And then um, I was going to pull the trigger and I'll buy it now on a, on, a, on a one. And then I came across this one. $12, dude. $12. I feel like I did really well in 2021. As far as my graded card pickups, in fact, I um, <laughs> I have a lot of graded cards now. Let's just say that <laughs> I didn't before. Um, here's another cool deal that I got. This was um, free shipping. You get five free cards or something like that. You know, if you buy ten or more, that's where this comes in. So I bought some shiners. I bought this right before opening day. Some of the shiners that I picked up from this lot. Oh, <laughs> that's a pretty awesome Tory Hunter, man. You got the chip right there. You got Piazza right there. Tom Glavin right there. Nomar. Nolan. Big Mac. The Scooter. Pujols. And the Duke. So, with these cards, I was able to get this right here. Pay ten dollars for this. I got these for a dollar each. Um, it was free shipping. It was like ten percent off. It was some crazy deal. So I got all this for twenty bucks off the see off the seller on eBay. So this was really cool. A nice little find right there. All right, moving along. I did manage to buy something off of um, a follower YouTuber, Mike Baseball Collector. I was able to get this Roger Maris off of him. And then I did manage to uh, get a, <laughs> a crazy card from 40 Cards. If you guys can remember that video where um, I kind of technically stole someone's eBay code 
from Nationals, thinking it was a code for everybody to use. And um, he gave me that card. Shout out to you guys. Um, pre-war. Let's talk pre-war. This is all the pre-war cards that I got for 2021. Okay, so 2022, I'm going to try to get to more, try to double this for 2022. Um, I got this Sweet Riceberg. This finished off my 1919 Black Sox Scandal set, card set for all the players that got banned. So that was a pretty big pickup for me. I, I added some Hugh Jennings right here. Carl Mays, the guy that killed Ray Chapman. And this was a crazy pickup. This is a card that I've been looking for for 10 plus years, man. Since I first started collecting vintage, looking for that card, never found it, finally found it. So I had to buy the Carl Mays to go along with it. Because this is the guy that threw the ball, that hit this guy in the head, that killed this guy. And uh, I made a whole video on this, set, you know, just on these two cards. If you guys want to go back to my archives and take a look, you guys can. Um, let's set these, uh, let's set this YouTube thingy up here. There you go. No, don't fall. Please don't fall. All right. It might get covered. Hold on. This Desi Vance, added this tobacco. Well, actually, this is not a tobacco. This is a strip card, a hand-cut strip card. So, paid 30 bucks for this. Really good deal. All right, moving along. Let's talk autographs. I added a lot of Hall of Famers and autographs in my collection. My wall of fame. I added a Bob Feller. This was an upgrade from my other autograph. I found this really cool Carl Ferrillo that says Los Angeles Dodgers. The Barber, Sal Magli. One of my favorite autographs that I picked up last year. This Don Zimmer. I just love this card, man. This is a really cool card. And it's razor sharp. And it's autographed. <laughs> this is a really cool one, too. The Casey Stengel. And just thinking about me holding a 1940 Playball Casey Stengel autograph. That guy held this card at one point. Okay? Just keep in mind, this guy played in the early 1900s. He was... 10 plus years manager with, with, with the Yankees winning 10 plus rings or something like that. That was really crazy. I added the turbo in the board, which is really crazy because this guy managed this guy and I got both these cards autographed, which both these cards were held by both these players. That's what's amazing. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay. Mini Minoso. I added that to my collection. Gaylor Perry. I added that to my collection. Two blockbuster autographs out of my collection a hank aaron and a willie mays so i did pretty good on my autographs i'm gonna try to add some more autographs this year you know but i'm not sure what names i'm gonna be adding all right moving along moving along i got me some pretty bigger names too i added my first 1951 tops card i added a campy a 52 bowman I found a Bobby Thompson rookie card. 30 bucks for that, dude. Damn, can't beat that. I added a Gaylord Perry rookie card. I added a Phil Rizzuto rookie card. Wow, I did pretty good on my rookie cards. I should have separated that. But there is a bigger rookie card that I picked up, which I'm going to show with you guys at the end of the video. Picked up this Willie Mays. And this Yogi Berra. All right, so let me clear the board a little bit, and then we'll talk uh, some manuals, that really crazy rookie card that I picked up, and um, a meetup with some other fellow YouTubers. All right, guys. Who can forget this right here? This little short stack. This was a Greg Morris auction. These are all lower grade that I picked up from Greg Morris's auctions. All lower grade. And, um, man, this was a killer deal, because look at this. His lower grade is not my lower grade. Let's just say that. And um, I'm going to try to pick up some more raw cards this year. I'm going to try to focus more on that. And again, I might just keep the Stars and Hall of Famers only. Since I can't set build, really, because all my banners are put away. So I got me a little bit of raw cards. Not too many this year or last year. But these are all Greg Morris's auctions. All in one shot that I picked up. All in one buy. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. All right. I met up with uh, fellow YouTubers out in the Long Beach show. George, Diamond Yard Sports, and Eric, um, Gritty, Mitty. I'll have to leave links down below. But Eric was selling uh, Roger Hornsby at the show. 
So I bought this off of them, which is an upgrade of mine. So this is not a pickup. I had this one for years. This is a pickup because I just upgraded this version with this version. So got that last year. I also picked up a uh, Jackie Robinson. I got this from George Diamond Yard Sports. So glad to add that in my collection. All right, Mickey Mantles. Let's talk Mickey Mantles. I added about four cards of Mickey Mantles this year. So, or last year, 2021. This year, I want to add at least, you know, somewhat about the same. I added this bad boy, the long shot. Oh my God, focus. I added the long shot. I'm trying to get more Mickey Mantle graded cards. If you guys can remember my crop tap uh, review, how many of you guys uh, entered that, by the way? I got this bad boy off that. Just answer some questions, get some gift cards, and then you can own yourself a Mickey Mantle. I added this 1967 Toss Mickey Mantle. And then I added the 68. If you guys can remember this video, I picked up a, a blaster box of, uh, I think, 2020 Topps Chrome Update. And it came with this Mickey Mantle, so I had to pull the trigger. Because overall, that thing was only like 200 bucks. All right. Two big names that I picked up in 2021. And I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up any big names this year. Because I'm kind of tired of paying four-figure numbers for cards. But last year, I was able to add this 1933 Sports Kings Ty Cobb. This was the buy it now. I pulled the trigger on it because this is, well, last time I checked, it was like a $1,500 card. And then the biggest pickup of 2021, the biggest pickup of 2021, is adding this bad boy. Oh, man. It took a lot of hook caps for this crybaby. <laughs> So, I'm going to explain to you guys in a different video how I got these two cards. You know, um, I'm not going to do it in this video. I'll just do it in another video because it's going to be kind of a long one, if that makes any sense. But overall, I feel like I didn't pick up too many cards. If you uh, if we set them down, I picked up a lot of key cards, a lot of stars and Hall of Famers. You know, I upgraded a card. But this is pretty much all I picked up. There's a few other ones that I, I didn't add to this pile. But it's not that many. I literally focused on star players and Hall of Famers in 2021. And uh, I may do the same thing for 2022, only because I kind of enjoy my binders. Now, I may switch things up a little bit, just a little bit, but not too much. Again, I just want to buy, you know, star players and Hall of Famers so that I don't have to be buying them anymore because they're quite pricey. This is another one I got for uh, 10 bucks because of the crop tap app. I had a gift card for that. Paid 10 bucks for that. This is really fun. The Willie Mays. My Phil Rizzuto. So this is my, my cap, my recap for 2021. It's pretty fun. What do you guys think? Did pretty good. I should have added more cards. I should have added more modern cards. <laughs> I literally only had like a little short stack of modern cards. That's really crazy. Huh? Shiners. And I got this in opening day. But... That's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Toodles.